24 hours in a day and I get to do math, hey, hooray. Y equals mx plus b with Mr. Ng, we're making history. Pythagoras, Euclid, and Goss learn the math and you'll become the boss. Hey guys, let's go over the 16.5 integrated math 3 module 3 test on polynomial equations. This is version B. Number one, if x minus 6 is a factor, I wanted to note that when you know that it's a factor, its remainder is 0. Find the remaining factors of the polynomial. So I'm just going to use synthetic because it's fast. I'm going to use the coefficients, 1, 7, negative 38, negative 240. Bring it down, multiply, add. I'm going to get my calculator out. 13 times 6 gives me 78. That will give me a positive 40, 240, and that will be 0. <coughs> so... This means you have x minus 6, x squared plus 13x plus 40. The reason why we do synthetic is that we can get it to quadratic, and it's something we know how to do, and I can probably just factor from here. Two numbers that multiply to be 40. I'm thinking 8 and 5. Okay, so is x plus 8 a factor? It is. And is x minus? No, it's not. Because that one says a plus. Question number two. The graphs of these two equations are there. Use the graphs to find the solutions. Remember, hint, don't worry about the f of x. The g of x on the graph just set equal to zero of the equation to the right. So I'm just going to take that. And move it over the equal sign. I have no like terms, let's put it over there. Left with x to the third minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. I have four terms there, so let's just see if it fits inside a box. And we're going to go in a z. x to the third minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. And take out the greatest common factor. One, and that will have to be a negative 2. So that gives me x minus 2, x squared minus 1. There in black, if you did the x, that would just be negative 1, 0, so it would be 1 and negative 1. So that means x equals negative 2, negative 1, and 1 are my answers. <coughs> I'm missing select all, so you have negative 2, you have negative 1, and 1. Use a graphing calculator to figure out... Um, to solve. So basically solving is just where it crosses the x-axis. Okay? Let's put that into our calculator. All right, one thing you need to do is set it equal to zero. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to subtract x squared, subtract x, and subtract, add 5. So I'm going to have x to the third minus 4x squared minus x plus 6.
Okay. I'm going to put it here into Desmos, and then you have 3.856, 1.322, and negative 1.17. So based off of what I just saw, that would be choice C. Number four, find all of the factors. So four terms, I'm gonna factor by grouping. Remember to put it in like a Z. There's no greatest common factor x squared, x, 25, and negative 4. I can just set each of these equal to 0. There's one solution. I'm going to set this one equal to 0 and then solve by square root method by getting the c value to the other sign. Don't forget, it's going to be plus or minus um, square root of negative 1 times square root of 25, so that would be 5i. Okay, so that would be <coughs> x equals 4 or x minus 4. And x squared plus 25. Which substitution can be used to write that into a quadratic form? Quadratic form has this. Whatever the number is. So I'm going to do this here in yellow. 81x to the fourth equals the parentheses squared. So if I just get rid of that... I'm going to have 9x squared equals that blank. So 9x squared, 9x squared, if you wanted to finish the problem. Um, this will become 81x to the fourth. This will have to be a 3, so that will be 27x squared, and that will be a 2. So if you did the substitution there, right, instead of writing 9x squared, maybe you write whatever it gives you u. So it would be like u squared plus 3u plus 2. That's what you can use a factor. But u is equal to 9x squared. Pay attention of the parentheses there. It's not d. <coughs> Number 6, what are the possible positive real zeros? From here, I'm just going to count um, the sign changes. So this is a plus, so I have yes, no, yes, yes. There are four yeses. <coughs> so we had our possible positive real zeros. There are three, but then you're counting down to zero, counting by twos. So that would be B and D. <coughs> All right, use synthetic substitution. So this basically says your X value is negative 5, and that negative 5 is here. So bring this one down, and then you're going to multiply. So that would be negative 5, and then you're going to add these two numbers. Same thing. Negative 5 times 2, which is negative 10. And then we're going to add down here. Get different color. This will equal negative 12. So then negative 5 times negative 12. That can be a positive 60. And then we're going to add those, and you'll get 28. So f of negative 5 equals 28.
Number eight, find the solutions. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this into my X. So A, B, C. A is one, C is 81, so A times C is 81. My B value is 18. You can't do it by two, three times 27. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So which of those pairs? Okay, so let me do the box. <clears throat> one X to the fourth goes here. 81 goes here. And 18x squared is split between these two, so that's why you should have an x squared there. Okay, now we're just going to take out the greatest common factor, x squared, 9, and 9. So I have x squared plus 9 x squared plus 9. Now you can write those as 2. And to solve just means set it equal to 0. You're just going to be left with x squared plus 9. Subtract. Take the square root. Remember, when you take the square root, you have plus or minus. This is the square root of negative 1 times square root of 9. So that'll be square root of 9 is 3. And I. And you can note, because you're actually doing it twice, that these are double, double roots. Or a multiplicity of 2. Spell that wrong. That just means that you have 3i, 3i, negative 3i, and negative 3i. Question number nine factor completely. You'll notice we count two terms. This is not a difference of squares, this is a cubic because I have the power of 3. So we want something that looks like this. You can put that into your calculator, the cube root of 64. You realize that it's uh, the answer is 4, because 4 to the third power is 64. So I'm going to put a 4 here. What am I going to put into this parentheses here? So you can just do keep root. And you'll get 3x. So I'm going to put a 3x. This is my a, this is my b. 3x times 3x times 3x equals 27x cubed, and 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64 write out my formula for a plus b to the third power. Oh, I'm going to write my acronym. Same, same, opposite, always positive. Let's see. I don't need that one over here. That's wrong. Uh, a squared opposite, it's minus AB plus B squared. So A value is 3, it goes here, there, and there. And then our B value is 4. So A is, pay attention, I like to write this in a parentheses plus B, 4. My a value is 3x squared minus 
3x. B value is 4 plus 4 squared. So I don't need those, so 3x plus 4. 3x squared is 9x squared minus 12x plus 16. You'll notice that second part is never factorable again. And question number 10, sketch the graph of a third degree polynomial with the functions x plus 2 squared and x minus 1. So I'm thinking about a basic graph. x to the third means like x to the first, so start down and up. Leading coefficient, I'm assuming it's positive, so these arrows will stay right there. Let's talk about our uh, multiplicity here, so x plus 2. And you'll get x equals negative 2. So this is the, my x-intercept and the multiplicity there is 2. 2 means, this 2 means um, a bounce or a kiss because it's an even multiplicity. This one, x minus 1, so x equals 1. And this one has a multiplicity of 1, which is a shoot through. Um, the trick to find the you don't have to have a multiply it all out. You can, but I have 2 times 2 times negative 1, so that'll be a negative 4. So I have a y-intercept of negative 4. Okay, so we said the basic graph, the arrows start down and up. We have 1 at negative 2. That's going to be a bounce. x equals 1. It's right here. We're going to go left to right. So yellow, we're going to bounce. And we're going to shoot through there. So my graph's gonna look something like this. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. See ya. Do you want to learn to love math again? Go to Mr. Ring's website or to his YouTube channel. He will teach you to learn to love math again. Mr. Ring, the number one math teacher in the whole world.